it is time once again for the bit. Shall we get this horse knife away? Let's do this horse knife. Each week, Catherine, the radio dead air, the, 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 the radio dead air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible. Ooh, la, la. Get, I can't say my Nine. words tonight. Yeah. Bring it back here for a little segment we like to call. I'm what the f is wrong with you? You should just pre-record that and lip sync it. I should. It would make things much easier. I'm just having. I'm having a night. I'm gonna have more of a one because we're having a night here. Um, first of all. Is the god -la -la. season? I can't tell you how happy I am not to work in a mall anymore. <laughs> well, that that pretty much goes any time of year. Yeah, but especially at Christmas. Uh, but it is it is of course that that time. Where 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 did they put it? Damn it! You're making this difficult for me tonight. Where's the webcam? Also, as someone who worked at Lens Crafters for a year, if you wear glasses or contact lenses and your insurance is going to flip over on the 31st, get in as soon as possible because every fucking asshole comes in the last week and it's hell for everybody. And there won't be any appointments. So just a little piece of advice. Well, first of all, it is that time of year again. It is it is time. Once again. For goat. Watch. The, the, the goat watch is upon us. May God have mercy on our soul. It is time. To, the, the, the Yavle. The Yavle Blöken. The Yavle Goat. Yavle Blöken. That's fun to say. Um, in case you're just joining us, you've never watched this before. God help you. How'd you end up here? Um, the uh, Yavle Blöken. The, the Yavle Goat is a goat that's erected in Sweden every year. It's a big straw goat. It's it's erected for the holidays, and every year it becomes an unofficial war between people who want the goat to survive and others who want to burn it down. Why it's notable is more times than not over the past how many decades? Sixties, five decades, because it was started going up in the sixties. Five decades or six decades? Six decades now. Shit. Um, it went up in the sixties. Every year, it has more often than not burned to the ground. However, isn't it weird that that's not a Pixar movie by now? <laughs> Someone's with like a who is like a bunch of elves trying to protect the goat from the dumb humans. Who has who has optioned the Yavla block? Yeah, um, like I would say it should have been a Rankin Bass, but I don't think it's old enough for that. But for the past four years. The goat has, well, the past, the past three years, the goat has, from 2017, 2018, 2019, and 2020, yeah, the past four years, the goat has not burned. No. Which has also coincided with some of the worst years in recent history. I'm not a superstitious man, but I believe this year, for the sake of us all, the goat must burn. It must. <laughs> Let's check in on the goat right now. We're going to go live to the webcam that they put up for the goat. And as you can see, hasn't burned yet. It's that 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 this is a live shot from Yavla. Now, I mean to be fair, it's only just barely advent. It's only just barely advent, but yeah, it's up. There it is. There, there's the Yavla blue. Um it, that is a live shot right now from Yavla Speed. <laughs> One of these days we're going to pull up the live shot and like see the flaming arrow hit it. <laughs> and we're, oh, 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 we're oh, on. Oh. <laughs> we'll just be like. You'll be like that. I'll be like that. I'll be like a fucking howler monkey. I will fucking be so happy. No. Um, we'll, we'll, yeah, you're uh, not the one that gets yelled out about it. <laughs> don't fuck them. I don't care. You shouldn't joke about it. Fuck you. Just fuck you. So, yeah, we're going to keep a track of it. Now, keep in mind, it doesn't have to burn before Christmas. It's up until the middle of January or early January. Is it up until 12th night? I think so. So as long as it's as long as it's it, it up during its intended time, we still have time to burn the son of a bitch to the ground. So 
yeah. So keep your eyes open. We will we will we'll be reporting on this. So on to the normal bullshit. Uh, there is a thing that happened as as the internet was starting up. I'm sure you're gonna remember this when we when it started going big. We had this idea that if it was on the internet, it didn't count. If you yeah. did something on the internet, it's not real because it's the internet. Yeah. And that's one of the most poisonous notions. And that's where we got the social experiment days of live journal. When people would just do really shitty stuff and be like, oh, it was just a social experiment. Some people don't even, people are like, what's live journal? What's live journal? Yeah. Um, Facebook. Well, this is one of those where what the fuck did you think was going to happen? From Oregon. Nurse who bragged on TikTok yes. about breaking COVID-19 restrictions has agreed to stop practicing. She's not just a nurse. She's an oncology nurse, which is so that she specifically works with immunocompromised patients. Yep. See, when when you're going through chemotherapy and, and radiation treatment, it destroys your immune system. Yeah, it does. So you are suddenly vulnerable to all sorts of opportunistic infections. My mom was not allowed to eat fresh fruits and vegetables when she was on chemo because of the E. coli scares. My mom was a diabetic who built her entire diet around fresh fruits and vegetables. Couldn't do it. Yeah. So she had to like rework her entire diet because they were like, if it doesn't come out of a can, don't eat it. Oregon nurse who went viral after posting a TikTok suggesting she was flouting COVID-19 restrictions is no longer employed. On Monday, Ashley Grames, who was an oncology nurse at Salem Health until recently, agreed not to practice until further order by the Oregon State Board of Nursing. Grimes signed a interim order by consent that prohibits her from practicing as a registered nurse or functioning as a caregiver in any capacity for an unspecified amount of time. Such an order is not considered discipline, but it is a binding document, quote, signed voluntarily. The order will, main, will remain in effect until the state's nursing board votes to vacate it and either takes disciplinary action against Grimes, uh, Grames, sorry, I keep saying Grimes, it's Grames, or allows her to practice nursing again. On Monday, Grames was no longer employed with Salem Health. Like, okay, uh, the, 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 she was placed on administrative leave after people online alerted the hospital about the her entire internet reported her about her now deleted TikTok video in which she bragged about traveling during the pandemic and not wearing a mask outside. Basically, like one of the trends on TikTok right now, you use the sound when like someone sneezes and the Grinch says "bless Gesundheit," and then they say "you're the you're the the Grinch." And she used that sound and put up a little caption that said, like, when my coworkers find out that I'm still traveling and I don't wear a mask and my kids still have play dates. Like. In her scrubs with her stethoscope. Yeah, there's there's this shot of her right there. Just. What did you fucking think was going to happen? And it really is frightening to realize how many healthcare workers there are that just don't believe in fucking science. Like, what the fuck are you even doing in the, what the hell? How did you get, just, how did you pass any of the fucking exams? Like what, it, and like, you know why they're in that career? Because they think the humanities are for pussy little liberal idiots. <laughs> But you don't believe in science. So, like, what are you supposed to do with your life when reading and art are for assholes? But science is also for assholes. Like, you got to do something. And the reading and art doesn't pay as well. I just. What the fuck did you think was going to fucking happen? Yeah, I don't like. You can't just put that shit online. Like, imagine you are. I mean, just. You are one of this person's patients. You just had chemo. Yeah. You're on all of the drugs to like keep yourself the fuck alive. And you see this idiot proclaiming she isn't doing any of the shit she's supposed. To. I think you're yeah. going to call somebody. Yeah. 
Yeah, that opens up quite a few lawsuits. Yeah. And the irony is, you know who already knows this really well? People who work in the service industry, because your social media is policed like nobody's business. <sighs> like Starbucks, you actually have to sign a fucking contract that you won't mispresent the, mis misrepresent the company on social media. It is... <sighs> But but it should be just common sense. Like, <laughs> cool. even, there, even, there's there's trouble. I know. Even outside of your fucking job, like it should be common sense that if there's a thing about which consequences would be bad for you, you should probably not put it on the internet. Like, say your crime. <laughs> but we all know how that goes. Well, this next one is one of the. I don't get it. Is is I I think this is the first best way to to explain this one. I I don't fucking get it. What the I don't I don't I don't get it. Um, it comes from Peoria. An artist was hired to paint a mural, and let me show you the mural they were hired to paint, which is already kind of a little baffling. It's it's this cookie monster. It's sort of like this Soviet cookie monster thing going on here. There it is. That's it's with like the rainbow and the cookie with like the. Yeah, um, they were hired to paint this on the side of a building in Peoria, and the artist's like, okay, you're paying me, sure. Turns out, um, artist said man posed as building order, a uh, building owner, hired him for the mural, then disappeared. Peoria artist is looking for the man who commissioned him for a mural on building on Jefferson Avenue. Local artist Joshua Hawkins said a man named Nate hired him last month to paint a mural on a building and offered Hawkins more than he was asking to do it. Hawkins said he met the man twice. First when the man dropped off paint and the first half of the payment, and again when the man brought the final payment before the piece was finished. He said at the time he didn't think anything about, anything about the situation was off and said the mural took him and a crew three days to paint. Then, like, some of the things started to click, and I realized, like, well, the guy met me at the building, but he didn't really stay too long, and he was kind of rushed and took off quick. I never went inside the building, and he met me outside to drop off paint and money. When it was done, he called the man who hired him and hasn't gotten a call back. Last week, to his surprise, Hawkins got a call from the building's actual owner, also named Nate. Thought it was a prank at first, so he calls, he asks for Josh, and I say, you know, this is him. And he says... So what the hell did you paint on my building? Um, on Saturday, Hawkins shared experience on Facebook, but says he still doesn't know the man's motive. The mural is now covered, but Hawkins said the Russian phrase painted on it translated roughly to peace land cookies. But he paid in full? Paid it, not only paid in full, paid him more than he, t he agreed to. It sounds like just somebody that won the lottery and has been dying to do some trolling. Like, I fully expect that if we ever win, like, the publisher's clearinghouse, he's going to do some shit like this. <laughs> I mean, it's cool and all because you paid for your art. Okay. Yeah. But, but like, you well, should. Why? You, you weren't allowed to put it. This is one of the weirdest crimes. I don't even understand. <laughs> very weird. This is a very strange crime. Like, good on you for paying your artist. I'm, <laughs> I'm interested to know your thinking. <laughs> I'm curious to know the thought process here. Did you have a grudge with the people in that building? And your answer was C but, but, is for communism? Okay, but but if it's a grudge, <laughs> you got that mural is actually kind of cool. That's a cool. Well, yeah. fu that looks really. Unless the person inside is a fucking trumper. I dig the shit out of that. I mean, it's yeah. Well, how could you? I mean, even if you're a trap, how could you take offense? It's fucking Cookie Monster. It's just weird. I love it. So Some I don't people even. People don't appreciate weird. I don't. I don't even understand how that's offensive in any way. <laughs> it's just strange. Yeah, it is. Just is it a? I mean, like, is it a copy? I don't know. They it's made it, him to copy it, I guess. It's kind of like the 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 Cold War era um, propaganda posters. Also, is he like laser blasting someplace with that cookie? <laughs> no, I think the cookie's like going to him. It's not going away. It's going oh, to. So he's like Jedi. Yeah. Grabbing the cookie. I mean, it's 
which begs the question, where in that city were they keeping giant cookies? <laughs> I have a lot of questions about this mural. I don't see how this is really insulting because it's like, fuck you, I want to paint something awesome. Yeah. Okay. I mean, uh, okay. maybe the owner of the building has like a phobia of cookie monster. <laughs> I, I think that's a little too specific. This is just kind weird. Like my, I, I've said it before. My mom used to put Incredible Hulk stickers on the medicine cabinet so that I wouldn't think the medicine was candy because I was terrified of the Hulk. Like... I just, I, I want to find out what happened here because this yeah. is just so fucking weird. I really need to know the backstory here. Okay. And the artist is like, I mean, I got, I got paid. So I'm not mad. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Next story is. That's, that's chaotic. Good. I, I think. I don't even, control? I don't even need to read into this very far past i don't even have to read the headline this this one just i saw this and i think this is what gave me the migraine yesterday i don't know oh honey you took the one time you could go into a bank wearing a mask and not be suspicious and you fucked it up. How? How I mean, did fucking this was a layup? I'm serious. No kid, fucking, fucking, you You are the worst at crime. <laughs> like my son of a bitch. There's there are few have been as bad at crime as you are bad at crime. Even the guy who set his own car on fire during the police chase from last week was better <laughs> at crime than you. I mean, I imagine that is a real quandary for conspiracy theorist criminals right now. It's <laughs> like you want to rob the bank and for that you want to cover your face, but you also want the world to know that COVID's a hoax and you don't need to wear a mask. So like, what do you do? Do you just wear a blindfold? <laughs> Mississippi police are searching for a bank robbery suspect who apparently pulled down his mask during the act. So he walked in with the mask on. My dude. You know, oh, you know what happened? I, I, you know what? I'm, I'm thinking about this and I'm betting the teller probably was going, what? I'm sorry. I can't, I can't hear I can't, can, I can't hear you. Can, you. can you pull the, can you? Okay. Now I can hear you. Now, now I can. Probably, which is so sad. Police tweeted out surveillance images showing a man they say robbed a bank Thursday morning. Images show a man who appeared to be wearing a face mask that he pulled down. Police say he got away with an undetermined amount of money. Anyone with information, that's called Crime Stoppers at 601-355-8477. That's 601-355-8477. Please snitch on this dude because he is too stupid. I'm so I I I feel scared knowing someone this stupid is just wandering around. God knows what they're going to do next. <laughs> you need to be put this somewhere. Have been so easy. No shit. This was this was a gimme. This was a fucking gimme. You are in a time. Like, low key, a little surprised more banks aren't getting robbed right now. Right. Because we have everybody has the perfect excuse to be wandering around. Can, obscuring their identity. Needs rich people in corporations. So, like, I'm not encouraging anybody. Of course, you aren't. I want that on the record for legal purposes. I just think it's strange. <laughs> it's fucking. But this this fucking guy. <laughs> oh, was it the the bank? Uh, Shadow Rush says the bank teller probably felt stupid for how how bad for how stupid he was. Yeah. <laughs> Bless your heart. I guess you need to call the cops, but bless your seems, heart. Seems cruel. <laughs> it's like kicking a puppy at this point. Yeah. Just doesn't seem right. <laughs> it's not fair. We're not not even having we're not even having a conflict on the same level. This is asymmetrical fucking warfare. Yeah. Can you imagine if he goes if he gets caught and goes to prison? 
What are you in for? Bank robbery. Oh man, how'd they catch you? <laughs> they were just, I don't know. They were just really smart. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I was super careful. Oh. Next one's from Arkansas, which I got to say, this is for, for people who live overseas. I, the, Ark, the, this, this baffles and screws up people, especially in, Kansas? in England and Scotland and Ireland. One is pronounced Kansas. The other is pronounced Arkansas. Yeah. It's not Kansas and Arkansas. It's not Kansas and Arkansas. No, it's Kansas and Arkansas, not Arkansas. Anyway, this is from Arkansas. In case you didn't understand how to pronounce this, just we're very stupid in America. I apologize. We are. I think they know that by now. This is a fantastic mugshot. Look at her. That is, that is, and I do it again, is what that mugshot that says. Smug. Nude woman breaks in and out of Arkansas church. 26-year-old Arkansas woman has been arrested after she allegedly smashed a glass door and a window at Hot Springs Church while nude. Oh, this name. Treasure Camille Dakota Melian. Was, okay. Was taken into custody Friday morning, charged with commercial burglary. Wait, it's a church, but it's commercial burglary. Hmm. Pay fucking taxes. Anyway, a probable cause affidavit says the incident took place November 18th. Garland County Sheriff's duty responded to a call on that date about a disturbance between a man and a nude woman. When he arrived, he spoke with a man who told him that his girlfriend had left home, quote, wearing only a jacket and walking toward the church. Meanwhile, the mag man flagged down a sheriff's office sergeant near the church, said he'd seen a naked woman throwing something at a glass door at the rear of the church. Sergeant Bill House and Captain Scott Scotty Dodd found the back door shattered. While inside, they heard more glass breaking, followed by yelling from the front of the building. Deputies exited and found the naked woman bleeding from both hands. The witness who'd seen her break the back door told them they'd heard more glass breaking while deputies were inside. Turned out to be a window on the other side of the church. Um, she, where the woman, where they say the same woman climbed to getting out. She tried to get in his vehicle and he yelled for deputies who took her into custody. She was taken to the hospital to treat for her treatment of injuries. A warrant was issued for her arrest the following day. It's not her first run in with law enforcement. 2016, she was arrested several times um, by the Ra uh, Rapids Parish Sheriff's Office in Louisiana for a variety of charges, including kicking an officer who was trying to take her into custody. She remains in jail on a $1,000 bond. What happened? I mean, if she was smart. I, with the bleeding from the hands and all. I, she I would claim to be having a religious experience. I have had fights with my significant other before. Yeah. I have met over many times over the decades. I've had fights. I have never decided that the resolution to the fight involved leaving the house naked but for a jacket. Walking my jacket. It's windy out there. Walking my ass down the street in winter to a church and busting up the joint. Ain't no reason to get Jesus involved in your shit. He's got better things to do. I mean, I've considered doing that when I've had a fight. What, going to Jesus' house and busting shit up? Yeah, but I just, I'm not willing, <laughs> like, it was too cold to walk around naked. <laughs> Leave Jesus out of your shit. He didn't. He didn't do anything. <laughs> he didn't do anything to you. Why are you bringing him into this shit? You busted his house up. He's just trying to plan his birthday party. <laughs> like on man. Zoom. Like he ain't, he got he got nothing better. To, like he's deal with your shit. Come on. God don't need no naked people busted up his windows. Trust me, this year, he's a little fucking preoccupied. Yeah, he's a little busy right now. A little bit fucking busy. <laughs> Dark Angel Otaku, the father, the son, and the holy shit, lady! <laughs> yeah, like... <laughs> what happened 
nude here. I like that she ran out naked, but put on her jacket. I mean, what what, what, what was the what was she the argument? draft? What was the argument that this was the resolution? I don't even understand how this this was the this. this. I mean, maybe it was a really heated theological debate <laughs> about why you had to be dressed for church since Adam and Eve were naked. <laughs> And the nature of original sin and the tree of knowledge, and it just got way out of hand. I love the, the mugshot's priceless, though. Yeah. She's like, and I'd do it again. <laughs> but they're like, okay, I don't know why, but... Okay, please don't. Treasure. Thank you. Her mom named her Treasure. And that's where the problem started. <laughs> Oh, next one. Oh, this is tis the season. Uh, we still apparently people are going out holiday shopping. And uh, one thing you have to look out for while shopping during the holidays is crowds. And one thing you have to worry about in crowds is people accidentally setting off firearms. Man adjusting his pants causes gun to go off inside Neiman Marcus sends shoppers running. Atlanta police say someone's gun accidentally went off inside the Neiman Marcus store on Lenox Square. Investigators say officers were called to the mall about 6 p.m. Saturday after police called 911 saying they heard gunshots coming from inside the department store. Witnesses initially indicated there may have been a dispute occurring between two individuals when they heard a shot fired. However, officers have uncovered additional information showing there was no dispute related to this. Instead, a male was walking through the store, adjusting the, his pants, when the firearm he had in his waistband discharged. I still long to know why people think that's a good place to store it. Because I promise you, there's things there that you will miss. Well, you won't miss. That's the problem. You'll actually hit them. That's the problem. Like, I'm sorry, if if you can't be arsed to get a proper holster, you don't need a gun. How much does a holster cost for fucks? I don't know. $38. I mean, <laughs> I can make a holster out of duct tape. <laughs> I can. And I promise you it would be safer than just jamming it in your waistband. Yeah. If you can afford the gun, but you can't throw down $38 for the holster, you shouldn't have the gun. Like, why can't we write that gun law? If you're not willing to buy a holster with it, they won't sell it to you. I think the whole idea is having it in your waistband looks cool. Cool. You look You look like, you're like, yeah, I'm badass. You know what doesn't look cool? Having to explain to everybody for the rest of your life why there's a big hole in your dick. <laughs> uh, by the way, the $38 holster is in your waistband. Oh. But it keeps things away from the trigger. Yeah, also, like, don't... Out of the fucking point. How many models of gun are there where there's not a safety? Very few. They, they have to be old guns. Right? So, like, why are you even carrying it without the safety on? Or at, without the safety on and with a round in the chamber. Right. Why are you even carrying it that way? Because at a moment's notice, you just have to pull a gun out and, sh and put a hole in someone at a moment's notice without See, even thinking like that should cost you your gun and at yet, that point they should be like clearly you're too fucking stupid and irresponsible to operate this murder machine and, and it, we're going to take it away from you if now. we were in a sane country like new zealand it, it would be but we're not yeah we're not like almost any other country isn't it funny how like the countries that were started as prison colonies have ended up the most sane and, and progressive and yeah. nice places to live. And now and we, we're here in the one that was started for freedom and it's not turned out so well. One of my favorite things about America right now is that the same people that will argue that a couple thousand school children have to get shot to death every year because that's just the price of freedom. Think that putting a piece of cloth over their mouth is fascism. <laughs> Those are the same fucking people. Yeah. Oh, we have one the final one this the the end of tonight, which we, we we can't quite go through one of these without having something completely insane happen. It's from Minneapolis. 
I dare you to make less sense. Um, driver who crashed into Los Ocampo was impaired, fought people after getting out of car. Boy, he fucked that car up, too. Look at that shot. Look at, just look at that. How did he crash into it backwards? I, get, get, just, no, he, I, I, oh, wait, yeah, he did. I don't know what the fuck happened. That's the hood. Look, look, look at that. Look at that shit. That's what amazing. Did you, what did you do? A gas leak has been stabilized after an SUV crashed into a Frogtown restaurant Thursday. According to the St. Paul Police Department, a Toyota RAV4 crashed into Los Ocampo at Dale Street. Uh, witnesses told police the 23-year-old motorist had been driving recklessly prior to the crash. The St. Paul Fire Department said crews were at the scene for about two hours, but the situation had been stabilized and occupants allowed to return. Video of the scene shared by the St. Paul, Fire, uh, St. Paul Police Department indicates the vehicle was southbound on Dale went onto the south sidewalk before crashing into half a wall on Los Campos patio area before smashing through windows on the outside of the, the restaurant. What is to say the driver then got out of the SUV and fought with a would-be good Samaritan who was trying to help him. Hey, buddy, you okay? Fuck you! Just all hands. All throwing hands. He then ran into the street opened the door of a car that had stopped on Dale and punched the driver in the face multiple times before pulling out a knife and threatening the driver. Officers arrived on scene shortly after and took him into custody. Police say the suspect was showing signs of being impaired. Yeah, no. I should say the fuck so. Police say once the suspect's released from the hospital, he'd be arrested on suspicion of aggravated assault and gross misdemeanor driving while intoxicated to deprive her due to prior driving while intoxicated conviction. So. Whatever, what, whatever you were drinking, you shouldn't drink that anymore. I don't think it was dr probably not drinking. Yeah. Driving while intoxicated covers a lot of That's things. That's true. So one morning you wake up, you decide to get completely fucked up and go for a drive. Why? Why? That's not what they mean when they say the fast and the furious. <laughs> That's not what those movies are about. It's not like Fight Club with cars. Like, you just... What? I, I just... What the fuck? You caused a gas leak. Someone tried to help your ass and you punched them. You run into the street and you try to fucking car check somebody. What the fuck? How is this a fun drug? Yeah, whatever, whatever drug you're taking, it doesn't sound like it's a lot of fun for you. I mean, you could just get a VR helmet and play Grand Theft Auto. And yeah. it'd be the same thing. It'd be way cheaper and you wouldn't actually have to go to jail. You could just stay home and bang your fucking head against the wall for an hour. It sounds like you'd get about the same effect. <laughs> Except without the jail time. I, I just... It... <laughs> Shadow Rush, what was he impaired on? Yes. <laughs> I can't even imagine. Like, you get so mad at other drivers. <clears throat> Dan used to be such a nice driver until he moved to New Jersey and went native. Partially because New Jersey is home to some of the worst drivers on the planet. But like, I can't even imagine if we were driving somewhere and someone just tried to open the door and start punching. Like, we'd have problems. <laughs> <laughs> there would be problems. I, I don't understand how you thought this was going to solve anything. Yeah. Like at at that point you're just you're done. If you if you've like done this to a fucking restaurant, you're done. Sit your at ass some down. Point, you just got to take the L. Someone's coming for you very soon. Sit yeah. down, maybe get a coffee. Yeah. I mean, I don't think that restaurant's going to serve you. <laughs> and it should probably be a decaf cuz you seem to have some anger issues. No, it's not a matter of, oh, no, I can I can get out of this. Hold yeah. on. 
I can, I know I got this. Hold you up. You do not in fact got this, sir. Cause once you've done this, you're done for the day. That's yeah. it. This is your quota. This is what all you're allowed. The rest of the to-do list is, is postponed. Yeah, th this is suspended until tomorrow. You you can't you 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 have hit your limit for the day. You need to sit down. <laughs> oh, lesser Godzilla says. Im uh, imagine the Yelp review. Good service, occasional traffic. <laughs> <laughs> like, are we sure COVID isn't mutating into like a rage zombie thing? Yes, we are. We are absolutely sure. Because the mink in De in Denmark are literally they, rising they, from their graves. They were rising from the grave because of decomposition gases, Tara. Tara. That's what they want you to think. That that is that's what they want you to think because that's what fucking happened. Sure. There are no zombie mink running around Denmark. Sure. the first thing we learned this week is understand when to sit the fuck down yeah you, you, you're you don't got this you're, you're not you gotta know when to hold them know when to fold them <laughs> know when to sit your ass down that's it that's yes. the end of the song know when to sit your ass down um we've learned that uh if you can't afford a holster you can't afford a gun Goddamn right. Yeah. I mean, we're not, let's not even get into the logistics of the right and the wrong of owning a gun and, and the rights of it and all of it and what kinds of guns. If you can't afford a holster, you can't afford a gun. Period. Let's just start. That's our bait. Let's start from there. Let's, let's, that's the also, floor. If you're the kind of person that thinks the best storage for this is right next to my genitalia without the safety on, you probably shouldn't own a gun. Round in the fucking chamber. Or a pencil. Um, we've learned that some leave leave God out of it. He has enough problems. He does. <laughs> he's busy. You and your boyfriend are having shit. Don't call God. Yeah. He's he's got other things to do that doesn't involve your like, your nonsense. Nobody's even coming to Jesus's birthday party this year. Okay. Right. He doesn't want to hear about it. Seriously. Um, we've learned that maybe. If everyone's allowed to wear a mask and you want to commit crime, maybe you lean into that. Take advantage of the situation that's don't, working in your favor. Don't, don't, don't be like, nah, nah. I'm a rebel, Toddy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe you thought that it was like reverse psychology. Like if everyone's wearing a mask... Like not wearing a mask, he was wearing a mask. It's like a they won't remember me because I had a mouth. <laughs> right. We've learned that uh just because someone pays you to do a job doesn't mean they're allowed to pay you to do the job. <laughs> Surprising but something like that. What? And who would even think to? How do you check something like that? I know, right? I mean, how would how would you be the, the dude is giving you money and paint? Why would you right. be like, hold on a second? Like, does this poor dude have to like demand to see the deed to every building he gets hired to paint now? <laughs> like, I think he probably will from now on. Probably. He's going to be a little extra careful. And finally, we've learned this week, no, just because you put it on the internet, it still counts. It does, yeah. in fact, still count. I don't know. Why did you get this idea that it's like, no, no, I put it on the internet. It's it's okay. It's It's not like saying time out. Right. It's not like opposite day and shit. The internet is not an alternate reality. Right. It happened. You you did the thing. You did that. It's it's not like ugh. I mean fucking uh I mean fuck. <laughs> it's almost over, Tara. We got a few more days, a few more weeks. This one's done. Yeah, but now we have monoliths, and they're and 
the Israeli space minister is like, yeah, no, there's aliens. They even have a government. They just don't want fuck all to do with us. I'm not saying that someone should burn the goat. But I'm not not saying it. 